Hello Capricorn. Spirit caught me without my makeup on. At 222 I saw the image of a hawk and today is the 22nd of the second. So all the twos I'm looking forward to the message that comes up for you. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And Breezy saying hello. Hi sweetie. Message is ready to come through. Ready for Capricorn's reading? <laughs> That's how you talk parakeet. <laughs> Hey, sweethearts, let's get started with your love reading. This is for the next few weeks for Capricorn. Hello, beautiful Capricorn. Sorry, I just lit some Palo Santo. I'm going to light it a little more here. To cleanse the space, I do feel like there's been a situation I received the image of like a splinter in the hand, you know, like something hurt in this situation. Um, so we're just going to clear the space and the energies and ask for the highest light to come through and to give us the divine answers, the guidance for going forward. It does feel like there has been, you know, this transformation that's taken place and you have cultivated this strength and this inner peace through really, you know, choosing what's right for you. Amazing. The hawk just flew again. Wow. So beautiful. Well, our spirit guides are here, sweetheart. So let's get started with your reading. And this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February the 22nd until March the 22nd. I'm also uh, in seeing like an image of an orange. Some of you may need like to amp up the vitamin C. Um, have like this insatiable craving for oranges. <laughs> have you had some freshly squeezed oranges? It says luck is yours. Yeah, well the orange is also a symbol of luck, which is really nice. Creativity and prosperity. You are correct. Nice. And love yourself first. Exactly. You know, that's what this situation is. And sort of in a way, you know, we all want to place our love. Like as humans, it's like we want to place our love in another, you know, or in, in our work, and our project. Um, but the thing is, it's like it's, you've got to love yourself first. Your cup has to be full first, you know, to be able to, you know, authentically share and give and love my birds are flying free and deciding to, what are they doing? Are you okay? You good? Um, I still have the Christmas tree up for the birds. <laughs> and one is in the tree and the other one is looking for the parakeet that's in the tree. So, um, oh, I just heard somebody say, tell her where you are, please. That's for, that's for you know, somebody. Tell her where you are, please. You know, it is okay to show that you care. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Show that you care. Amazing. Amazing. You know, oh my gosh. I just, spirit, just, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised by now, but I always am. It is okay to show that you care. So, you know, if, if somebody is wondering where you are, you know, you know, to, to, by reaching out, showing that you care, you know, you can still have, you know, those boundaries that are needed for you. Um, but that's not for all of you, you know, that's that's for somebody, that message. Um, so take it as it resonates and, and, you know, do what's best for you. You have to always love yourself first. Embrace the feminine. Yeah, beautiful. You are really, you know, finding your power through this divine femininity for doing, you know, what is right for you, for making choices that are kind, that are gentle from the heart, that are, you know, better for the betterment of all. And it's really this this moment of rebirth, Capricorn, of transformation, time to reflect. There has been a situation that is, you know, I think the other person in the situation is also recognizing this as a time of reflection. You're both meeting each other, you know, as mirrors, and there's this new balance that's being restored. It's like you see eye to eye, you see both the light and dark in each other, and neither, you know, it scares each other. It's like, you know, you honor both sides of, of the truth of this energy. However, there is this time of maybe solitude to reflect. It says, be vigilant. Yeah, I feel like this is being vigilant and doing, you know, in standing in your strength, doing what's right for you, creating harmony of mind, body, and soul. Um, focus and then act. And this comes through, you know, that self-reflection, you know, focusing on yourself and then acting from this place of making the right, clear decision. And then share your thoughts. I really do feel like this is like sharing, you know, that you care as well. And you can create, you can, you know, share your thoughts and your creativity and, you know, um, you know, with, with your divine counterpart. I'm hearing the name Monique, Monique. 
oh, somebody's breathing out like ah oh, like but it's it's sort of like you know there's like a sense of frustration in the situation but also recognizing that it is in the process of transforming for the betterment and in fact it feels so much lighter than it, it recently did stretching is going to be really wonderful and that came up in your timeline reading as well sweethearts stretching is going to be really beautiful for able to heal this energy and yes you can do yoga or pilates whatever feels good for you but i mean just literally like just sit here right now, like wherever there is a place in your body that needs some TLC, stretch, stretch into it and just be like, ah, oh, like it's like this, like amazing um, release of energy that somehow got stored in your physical body and you're, you're releasing it. It just really helps with the transformation. So um, your romance angels are saying to trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith and retreat. Yeah, so, you know, this could be retreating with your love. I am getting a sense of it's retreating a little bit of solo time, though. It's interesting, though, because it is like, you know, retreat together with the, the husband and wife. But the energy that I'm picking up here, Capricorn, just because there is this love yourself first, it's like, you you know, this time of reflection is really healing. And it's really important for you to sort of step back and enjoy, you know, to, to stay in your strength and to stay true to what's important to you, what you will and won't accept. And, you know, that just in itself transforms the energy. Um, I feel like, oh, this one just fell out of the deck. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Yeah. I feel like this energy, you know, it's really calling for, you know, a time of, of um, loving yourself first really is what it is. Making choices that are beneficial for you and your health and well-being. Because that's number one ultimately, isn't it? You know, without our health, we have nothing. So what is supportive of your inner peace, Capricorn? What is honoring of your health, your well-being, your, you know, your peace? Because we can get tied up in emotions. We can get confused by them. You know, it's really not lovely to follow our heart. But sometimes, um, you know, we can confuse our heart um, and love with lust and passion and something, even an addiction. We can confuse that, you know. So it's important to... Um, really focus on you know dropping all masks on all energies and just like regaining your inner power of that sacred love that heart you know because it does feel like there is something that's being held back at this time and um you know somebody's not expressing their true feelings you know i do feel like oh wow well, major deja vu right now major deja vu and this card just fell six of pentacles somebody is you know they they think you're doing just fine without them they think that you're enjoying life um they think you don't need them capricorn um i don't know if that's the truth of the matter but let's get another card here how's capricorn feeling at this time okay yeah you're doing pretty good actually <laughs> um king of chalices like you do realize that you you know you have strength and inner power and you're like come on <laughs> you're pretty you're pretty good right <laughs> yeah it's like you're understanding you know that you do deserve love and you do deserve you know to be honored in you know in how beautiful and creative and wonderful you are and you know look that's just sort of how it is you know and so your person would be right um but you know the king of chalices you know it's like you still have your desires you you like what you like you you know <laughs> you have you know your favorite drink um king of pentacles really strong energy really strong masculine energy and i feel like this is why the embrace the feminine has come up because you are definitely in your power capricorn it's like it's like this there might be i mean i'm just the deliverer here don't don't shoot the messenger but there might be a little bit of like yeah i'm good like you know like oh like <laughs> I, I don't need you anyway but c come on capricorn i, I feel like there is a little <laughs> There is a, like a lot of love here. And, you know, it's like you would actually love to go towards this energy. <laughs> but there is something, you know, you're sort of sitting pretty going, you know what? Um, oh, it's, it's good um, <laughs> in your power. But you are reflecting, you know, you're taking time to reflect with the five of cups here. It's like you are trying to let go of a situation, um, standing strong in your resolve and being supported to do so because it is a strong, uh, you know, a time of focus and then act just to gain this clear clarity, you know, and I feel like you were being, you know, crown was being, you know, compromised, like in this situation where it was like, maybe this other energy was like questioning your worth and you're like, excuse me, excuse me, um, 
King of Pentacles and King of Cups. Is there is there something we're not, <laughs> you know? But maybe this this energy that you were in Capricorn was too overbearing, you know. And so you need to come at this with from an equal playing field. It's like you needed to step back, you know, you need to like take this time of self-reflection and maybe there were things in, in the relationship where you saw the way, you know, you can see now that, okay, maybe you were imbalanced or, you know, maybe you were acting, you know, from a place of, you know, um, that wasn't entirely connected to heart, entirely connected to truth, you know, and you're able to see this now. But I do feel like this song's sense of like showing that you care, it's, it's like a, a okay. Um, Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning. So this could be with your person. It could be a brand new beginning, you know, on another rainbow path. Um, this is definitely passion. It's reuniting, transforming of the energy, starting again. I do feel like somebody is wanting to create a new beginning with you, Capricorn. So let's get a clarifier on who that is right now. Um, feeling called cool to draw from the unspoken messages first. Then we'll get back to the tarot. It says, I know I made the wrong choice. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, the energy as it was needed to be transformed. Okay, something was not in alignment. There was deception. So they know they made the wrong choice. They can, you know, they can see that from this time of reflection now. Maybe they really regret, you know, just how they dealt with the situation. It says, you deserve so much more. You know, they're seeing this. They're reflecting on this. They know that you deserve this, this Ace of Cups. And whether that's with them or with someone else, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, they're, they're ready to sort of take this, you know, it's like, see you as the missed opportunity, you know, because they, they recognize that they weren't up to par, they weren't meeting you on an equal playing field. Wow. I am trying to stop looking at your social media. Yeah, they're totally, you know, looking at it, what you're doing. It's like they want to disconnect because, you know, it brings back, you know, how they wronged you and, you know, they're wanting to, um, to disconnect from that and to... It says, I think about you constantly and I don't know what to do. They're feeling stuck in this energy because it was true love. They see your worth. They know that you're, you know, in this beautiful energy, but they, you know, they didn't embrace you in your divine masculine or divine feminine self. I am grateful for the light you brought into my life. And that's how they feel about the situation. It's like they're reminiscing like, you know, thank you. Thank you for, you know, helping me through this transformation. And so they're feeling this immense sense of gratitude. But there's also this slight sense of guilt because of this deception. And I feel like, yeah, I dream of starting all over again with you. They would love this Ace of Cups with you. This is what they're dreaming about. You know, why can't it be, you know, back to this passion that was, that is, you know, it's, it, there's a sense of confusion as to why this is like this. I'm planning to reach out to you. Yeah, you're going to be receiving a message, Capricorn. Um, might be just like, <laughs> like you know, they're going to reach out to you in, in the way that they do. It doesn't feel like they're coming with this like, you know, great, you know, Ace of Cups as it, you know, the energy truly is because they're confused. You know, they're, they're trying to disconnect. Um, this card flipped over but stayed in the deck, which means that they're still, it says, wow, this is what they're, holding close to their chest, Capricorn. I wasn't completely honest and I regret that. This is what is on the chest that they just like, it's like the deception, like they, that, oh, wow, okay. So, you know, they're really, you know, they feel, they feel bad about it, honestly. Um, you know, they see the picture for what it is, the story, you know, it's a love story. And what, I read a quote recently, like, that if, that if it is, it is love, you know, if the love ends, or, you know, it doesn't end, but if it leaves, then it is a love story. Uh, oh, goodness, I'm so bad with quotes. Maybe if I find it again, I'll post it in the comments. But that's what this is, darlings. It, it's a love story, you know, and it's, you know, the love stories that make up our life and our journey. It says, I wasn't completely honest, and I regret that, because there was this deception, you know. And so they're sort of, they're feeling like, you know, I should... I should walk away because I know that Capricorn deserves so much more. You know, I'm sort of going to retreat that this is what they really deserve. I, I'm aware of that. Um, let's get a message here. They feel like it's really over because you are in your, your king of uh, chalices and, and king of uh, cups energy. So it's sort of like, um, did I get that right? King of cups, king of pentacles energy. Um, yeah, so they feel like that you, they may feel like you've already moved on and that's why they're like wondering like what's happening with your social media just to check in. Um, you look even more beautiful than I remember. That's how they feel. They're literally like, like, 
mesmerized by you, Capricorn. Truly. I'm going to draw a message here. If you have a question for spirit, hold it in your mind's eye, in your heart chakra. Let's draw an answer card right now. No need to worry. And within the next few months. So yeah, that you're going to definitely be... Re I feel like it's going to be sooner than this, but that you are going to receive correspondence within the next few months. I feel like it's going to be within this particular few weeks. Um, let's get another card here. Don't stop. Okay. And you're ready. Okay. You're ready for this new beginning, Capricorn. Don't stop on this journey of self-love, of, of, you know, trusting in the divine, of trusting that your heart is leading in your right, in, you in the right direction. Goodness, I just realized this camera is like... <laughs> Not even straight. Can you, darling, see? Okay. You are ready for this beautiful new beginning. Uh, let's, let's get one more card here. Big, happy changes. Wow, Capricorn. It feels like a sigh of relief. It feels like like freedom, you know. Um, you know, and it's always difficult to go through a transformation. My goodness, is it difficult. For all of us, we're, you know, we're energetic beings in physical bodies and, you know, the, the sort of, uh, the lesson is to move the energy to go with the flow, but we, we don't, we hold it in our physical form. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it is difficult. Ten of Cups. This is the ultimate. This is the rainbow. This is the happy family. This is the love. This is the journey. This is where you're headed. And this love, this situation, whether it be a learning lesson or whether it be a transformation too, you know, that was required to bring this complete Ten of Cups moment, you, Capricorn, will receive the Ten of Cups. You will have your ultimate happiness. This, by the way, is from the last unicorn deck, my absolutely most favorite tarot deck in all time. And when I picked up this deck for the first time, I literally saw the hands that were picking it up in a hundred years there were a beautiful girl's hands they weren't mine but I saw in that moment through her eyes and she said wow and she picked up this deck this deck is so special and you Capricorn just received the ten of cups your first card wow oh my goodness so beautiful this is wishes fulfilled dreams coming true I'm gonna draw straight away from the energy card here um, it says, be without malice and do not fear the unknown. Look at this. These things will no longer hold you back. Malice, fear, self-doubt, uh, worry, jealousy, worrying what other people think. These things, you know, these cards are so supportive of you. It's, this is an energy cleansing that's happening around your Ten of Cups. It's literally saying, do not fear. You, Capricorn, are the strength. And be without malice. Be in that beautiful... Whoop, sacred heart of yours you know wish the best for everyone for everyone involved in the situation you truly do wish the best you know for everyone you wish you wish the ten of cups for everyone <laughs> you know what card flipped over oh the queen of wands <laughs> capricorn this is you looking beautiful being in your heart, being generous in your love. This situation has been transformed. It's a big happy change now. The big happy change is ultimate wish fulfillment. And now here you are in all your divine beauty, love and union, and you're following your heart. You're saying yes to new adventures, to things that light up your heart, your soul, and trusting that the divine is leading you exactly where you need to be. I want to get a message actually. From the unspoken words here. I don't know why the forces were against us. Yeah, it felt like at the time there was malice surrounding this previous or possibly present connection. You know, and they didn't understand why they were receiving people saying, oh, well, maybe, you know, it's like they were listening to others. They felt like their forces were against them. And so that's what, you know, that's why the situation had to be transformed. I feel unworthy of your love. They fear the unknown and they see you as the queen of wands, you know, in your divine masculine and feminine. They know that you deserve these ten of cups. Let's get a message here. I don't want to lose this connection. Yeah, they really, you know, they want to have this ten of cups too, Cap. It's like this is also their dream, but it's like they felt like the forces were against you. Well, you got four more cards here. I don't feel worthy of your love. 
times two. Interesting. I regret playing games with your heart because there was some sort of game, this energy, this deception that was happening here. And you felt it, Capricorn. That's why you took yourself out of this situation because you are in your king-queen energy and you know that the Ten of Cups is your destiny. I feel like you put a spell on me. I am obsessed. Well, <laughs> who wouldn't be obsessed with Capricorn? And I know you are thinking about me and it excites me. Well, you know. The love always is. The Capricorn, here you are, the beautiful Ten of Cups in your divine, beautiful power and destiny. I love you, Capricorn, so much. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. Sending you all the light, love, and goodness. And we're going to draw one final message for your Ten of Cups, for your new beginning, for your future, for this eternal love that is. Well, you've got two. It says emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. I felt like just adding that emotions are beautiful as well. And we, we see that in the grand scheme of things, even though they're very difficult. Um, it says, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And that's what you've done, Capricorn. You've let go. It's like you've brought forgiveness to this situation. And, you know, you've, you've also let go of, you know, anything that's outside of your self-love and inner peace. You also got, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And that's what's happening here, Capricorn. The true blessing in this situation. You're going to be receiving this within the next, you know, a few months. But I do feel like it's going to be sooner. I really do. Bless you, Capricorn. I'm going to place this beautiful rose quartz heart here. as we enjoy the journey of life together. Enjoy your blessed, beautiful now. Thank you, Capricorn, for being you.